the end. We're going to have a uh, discussion with an amazing lady. This lady, she was the one who won the pitching competition last time we were around in Buchabelo. She's with us to come and share her journey, her story, what it's been like, how she's making money. So, ladies and gentlemen, Tsu Soleto Maleho, founder of Excessive Pools in the building. Please, can you come on stage, my sister? Please, can we put our hands together for Tsu Soleto Maleho from founder of Excessive Pools. Welcome. This is our previous winner. Please have a seat, my sister. This is right here. I think we can do much better. This is our winner from the last time we did the pitching competition. So there's a lot that we can learn. There are things that she's done that have got her the price. You want to sit back, relax, and enjoy as we start this conversation. One more time. Let's welcome her with love. Welcome onto stage. Do we have the other mic working? All right, so we're just going to have a conversation. Welcome. Thank you so much. How are you? How are you? Ah, I'm well, thank you. And how are you? I'm not too sharp. Oh, I can do it right. So you, you, you came and um, you were one of the finalists last time. You won that pitching competition. How has it been since you, you, you won that competition? It's not like a Naratoka did sitting at but we needed the equipment, we needed the tools. Jerry to sit because some of the tools in a Rebecca Casona, Nedi, Nedi Robert Hill, sure, like the grinders, um, boros. We needed the shovels, we needed a lot of things. So Jerry to sit too much because. It has been a journey, a difficult one, but then, yeah, thank you. Fantastic. It's, it's great to hear that, that, that it's helped you. For people who don't know you, about Uiti, Omang, Otoakai, what does your business do? It's a very interesting business. Uh, I've never heard of such a business in the seven ages I've done work with tea, the swimming pool. Tell them, who are you, what do you do, what service do you provide, what's your business about? Oh, thank you. My name is Tusele Zomaleho. I'm the founder of Excessive Pools. We provide a wide services of uh, services that range uh, around the swimming pool industry and other complementary services. As you can see on our uh, banner, we do a fiberglass lining. We build a new swimming pools. We do a swimming pool maintenance and repairs. We do a green pool cleanup. We install paving. We install a swimming pool uh, tile, a pool pump, and filter installation. I actually wanted to do um, a presentation whereby I show you the um, our before and after pictures. Ne? Is it possible? For the presentation? Yeah. I think. Because of time, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to the team and see if maybe we could um, share those slides with people who, who are here. But let's have a conversation for now, and then we'll, we'll chat to, to, to the team. So how long have you been in business for, and, and what are some of the challenges that you've faced, especially when it comes to selling? Because you're selling something that's unique, right? So what are some of those challenges that you've had? Yo, um... First of all, now when we started the business, we had to uh, design the flyers. We designed the flyers, ra printer out to to the suburbs, ra getting the flyers door to door, because we knew our target market. We went to the suburbs. Araya kasi araya kaya kila di sababu ra getting the flyers from there. Ra kaya di clients one or two. Then every time we are landing. Right, I had the pictures of whatever that we are doing. 
And then with those pictures, obviously we create a Facebook page or an account. And then every time in the re, re, re attend the client, re kinya re post from the uh, to the Facebook ne. And then there's also what we call a marketplace. I can have a Facebook. Leona ya tusa a lot. So re post the pictures taro na every time in the re re post re post re post And then from there, re abana for no re na li challenges ha pega. As the re re kena the re re fana kadi quotation re bera kaka quotation. If you call us or get to far, maybe get to clean your pool, or maybe we get to do a fiberglass installation. Um, get to measure your pool. Maybe it's seven by four. We're gonna measure it, and then we give you a quotation. So we are competing with whites. So we're the only uh, black uh, entrepreneurs in Bloemfontein who are registered. They also we compete with whites. So every time we find a quotation, ne. If the square meters is uh, maybe 43 square meters, and then per square meter it's 180, because we need that line, we're gonna decrease the square meter maybe to let's say 170. So the uh, line that's around the compare the price. So you have a quotation, you say no, I'll get back to you. You go to the next one, go first a uh, uh, code, and then his is cheaper than Yaga, and then you're gonna go to him, and then Nike Amy, Saluku Emela, because he said, you're gonna come back. So we use that strategy, decrease the amount of the square meter, so that we can win that line. Then the challenge is that the challenge is that we have with the amount, instead of paying, we have the discount. Mm. And you know, especially if you come and look at all the same color, yaga, always we have to negotiate for discount. But then, if it was a white person, hard to negotiate. If a white person has hundred thousand, then they're gonna pay hundred thousand. But because I'm black, they're gonna negotiate the price. Of which I have understand. I have employees, I have to pay, and totally the expenses should maybe after completing a, a, a service or after maintaining your pool, after five days, your pool is leaking, then it's an expense to me because I have to come and fix it because why not you give me the money? Yes. So, get the challenges thing out. Yo. I, Annabella, you know, it's, it's not like it's not small amounts that you're working with. Like it's an entire swimming pool, meet up by square. And you're an entrepreneur, right? So how have you dealt with those challenges, especially from a mental point of view and not giving up? Because you've got entrepreneurs that are sitting here trying to get more customers and you face these challenges. What keeps you going? How have you dealt with those challenges to get up and to go and look for more customers? <laughs> you know, sometimes, ne, Lina, I'm a human being. Wanga, love you as like a Utlongala, Wangala. So, only a time whereby when I'll cast a mala chicken, because oh, provide the service, you have to pay me. So, why will it difficult for you to pay me after you provide the service? So, overly a back and forth a, a argument. So, but then at the end of the day, only those customers sell more. Motutaba, okay, Kipatala, Kapatala, and then the other amount of week here after, and then they don't pay. It's okay. Or now we provide a quality service. Somewhere, somehow, someone will ask about uh, someone who maintained your pool. So, or now, if illegal or I accept it for only those challenges, but then the quality of our services is equal. Well. Um, so this there's something as a compromising guy on. Yeah, the one that's saying, okay, sometimes the the clients see the but quality we be a copil. Yes, the challenges on that thing, but quality we be a copil. And you'll always remember that sponsor one, but and their quality. 
We're speaking about growing your customers, ne? Yeah, sure. Add, add. Um, we came with this strategy, sorry. Before we proceed, ne? On commencement, we want 70% deposit. Or uh, maybe in future, you won't want to pay the other 30, then we don't care. At least you paid 70%. <laughs> At least I'm not... 70% is better than nothing. Eh? Yes. <laughs> but you must say, yeah, sure, sure, I hear you. Continue. <laughs> if maybe we are building a new swimming pool, it don't be 70. Because obviously we have to buy material. Yeah, sure. So we're going to say 80%. At least if we lose, we know I. At least we gain something. We end something. Sure. 70%. Not 30% <laughs> so, so, I see that you've, uh, you've brought your, your banner. It explains the services that you, that you are providing. Marketing and PR, public relations, it plays a big role, right? In how you get your customers. What are some of the marketing strategies that you have used that you can share with the audience to get more customers, to make more sales and to make more money? So far, we don't even market, but when we started, we were using the flyers. I know for difficulty to go out there, or to my emulate that thing, or to get the flyers, so I met her, or convince them, or to have one. But then that is the strategy that we used. Sure. We went there, I think the flyers, we went to uh, door to doors, and then, yeah, from there, I uh, uh, posted from Facebook. Obviously, and then um, we're going to search your name, obviously, more Facebook on our inviter. Mm. Then, obviously, Facebook will automatically invite some of your friends as well. And then when you post, we, p we uh, tag you mm. in, uh, in our post. We're going to tag you, and then your friends will see how hey, accessible was here. So, from there, then, yeah, that's that's all. We didn't do much. Sure. Because a uh, majority of our clients, we get them from their recommendations. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. If we only provide a quality service, then someone will recommend us. Sure. Yeah. Um, so speaking about sales, I think Tabang spoke about it. That not everyone is your customer. And how to allow business, I mean, when I started as well, when we start... So, you were very specific in the beginning when you said, we didn't go to the township. Because we knew that's where our market is and still is. How hard, how do you say, that? this is the question, how do you say no to someone who's a potential customer but it's not the client really that you want to do work with. Because sometimes, but they're not like really your kind of client that you want to do work with. And sometimes there's the edge to work with them so you can make the money. But if you work with them and make the money, then you've taken that time which you could have used to focus on the premium client. So discipline, how do you keep it? How do you say no? Or do you say no? We don't say no. <laughs> you don't say no. No, we don't say no. Why the why the suburbs? Why the suburbs? Let's 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 speak on that one. Because you can uh, walk around the township, ne? Walk up at a whole suburb, yeah, township, pillow, or on a pool, and it's not like uh. The jarata to run a dinya, ne? Man, some of the yard you can see for more, or can see building pool. So, hey, I got a mad suburb home because most of the time, but about the suburb, but a little pool, and some of them, but a little pool. If uh, I won't say, but I want to have a little more the the um, drop on they do some of them, yes, ba 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 afford a little drop on, and then they do approach us if but a swimming pool, but hurry the township in the uh, we are wasting our time. Hmm. Hey, are we just wasting our time because if you feel like you have to pull out, 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 you have to pull
Sure. And, and I guess when, when you say something, which is very powerful, right? Um, when you are very clear on the people that you are serving, there's always the other ones that are saying, I'm all oh, weekend, say, no, no. Why as I say, we, you know, if you say you're going to work with private sector, they say, yeah, but why aren't you working with public sector? You've decided who it is that you want to work with, and you're very clear and specific about it. So, so there's a lot that you're dealing with there. But I love the fact that you're confident and you've said, this is who I'm working with, and that's where we are going. I'm going to ask you just two more questions, and then we're going to close it. Sales, dealing with a different type of market, is rejection. How do you deal with rejection? And how can you advise other entrepreneurs when it comes to dealing with rejection? Because you're a human being, eh? Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes you don't want to go again and do it. How did you deal with rejection? <laughs> I, I wouldn't say one of rejections, ne? Because when you come to me and over the code, I give you the code. If you don't come back, I know, you're not interested. So I won't say for a... Uh, I went out there, Kaloma Keta, and then you gave me this attitude, or you said no, or what. So, the only people that we know they want our services. Sure. Otherwise, if you didn't have a pool, or sure. if you didn't want to build a pool. Sure. So, we just give you the code. If it is too much for you, then you can go somewhere else. Sure. Otherwise, if you are interested, you will come back. So, we're not dealing with any rejections. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. But I've learned as well when it comes to sales, sometimes, um, but to about reject it because they don't want your product. Sometimes they're rejecting you because they want to see how, much, how badly you want it. Like, how hungry are you? And you have to fight, you have to go back, and you have to do more and more research. Uh, you've had people that have paid you a certain amount, sometimes about patali, but it's kept you going. Lastly, um, Encouraging words to the entrepreneurs who are here. Just for them to keep going, to keep going out to get more clients. What is it that you'd like to share with them and leave with them? I, I would say not persevere or tata out there. And marketing learner is very difficult. Yo, uh -uh. So for those who are selling guys, keep up doing the good work. Keep up. Nah, I <laughs> marketing is not for me. <laughs> it's not now your strength. It's not for me, no marketing. I don't talk too much, eh? but the only thing I can go to Kayona, you can see most of my good work. This is what I'm good at. Mm. And then, yes, I can convince you more Facebook or Kai or Otle. But then to stand there and convince you, hey, we are doing the swimming pool thing, I don't do that. But then, Lima Melechotat, it's not easy to buy an entrepreneur and a startup entrepreneur, and then I know some of you like about the funding, and then last year I did a lot of debate about the funding. I started like like give you for a regularly to print out the flyers, to distribute. From there, I took the pictures. We created a Facebook account. From there, I had to take a bond for no. We are gaining more clients. That's only when we registered our business because we wanted funding. And the funders out there, the uh, business account, LAG, the sure. uh, track record, yeah, how is the business doing? So we did, we tried that, so we uh, so we pushed it there until Tia came, we pushed it there, we pushed it there, we pushed it there a lot. Sure. So let's give up. And the uh, investors are the business account to apply. But let them over your book. I have hope. What that about you? What are you choose? Have hope. <laughs> T will come and rescue you along with NetBank. But it's a story, I think, of, of resilience, a story of not giving up. It's a different kind of product. It's a different kind of market. They are on their own, but they are pushing. Customer after customer. Even though it's 70%, they are 70%. Yeah. But it's perseverance. Get up and keep going. 
Excessive pools, go Barumi Shapeleng Matoho, our incredible uh, pitch winner from the last competition that we had. Is there anybody who's got a question? A brief question. I'm only going to... I see the hand there. I see the hand there. And I see the hand there. Please come to the front. There's just two questions. Yes, my brother. My sister, please come to the front. Very quickly, two questions. Please come to the front. No, no, no. My brother, we're not my man. He, she's still here. I want a question. You have a question? You've got a question. A question. A question. Ladies and gentlemen, Nagi Gom Seveti. Kifu script. Question. She's still here. We're going to converse after. I humbly ask because I don't want to be a mean guy. No, my brother. My brother, listen. Eh? I'm going to give you the opportunity. You're going to say your name, your surname. Ask the question to the lady. She's going to respond. Then we're going to move. We're together. Sharp, shai. Not. Where's the... Please come this way, man. All right. Um, please, can you... She will go again. Please just... Kupa, All right. So, you're going to name surname question, and then when you're done, please give the mic to the lady at the back. Ne? Thanks, my brother. Over to you. Okay. My name is Tepo William Sahau. I'm in construction business, but I have a question for you, my lady. Ne? Uh, I just want to know that do you have a lawyer right now? Do you have a lawyer? I don't have a lawyer. <laughs> you don't have a lawyer. Alright, so the conversation that you and her are going to have when we have our networking session now, it's around lawyer. All right. This is going to be an interesting conversation. Lawyer, NCR, 70%. Okay. Thanks for the question, my brother. Please come, my sister. Do you have a lawyer? Do you have a lawyer? Scorpions, can they save your business and your sales? Oh, hey! Oh, clientele, okay. My sister, your question, please. So how about you? What is it? Your advice and guidance as the entrepreneurs. You mentioned two things more. Like how can you like how much work face to face marketing? But you had a solution. You are or did that guy like both Facebook and whatnot. And then the other one, you say had the lakore hot hard. So what is like when I think you are really the entrepreneurs really focus on what is a business how ever successful is because on top of hot hard and hot hard when I was successful because Rabona the post out the shop or the you are running successful business. So but that time back on the back on the top of face, he in your car blend like more or less successful as an upcoming entrepreneur. Great question. Sure. Okay. Because business is seasonal. From April up until August, we don't have the clients. The clients are on now, one or two. Because majority of the clients are on. Have a very good city pool. It's winter. It's winter. So that's why I'm saying hot water. So the, 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 the money that we have uh, from August up until uh, February or March. We have to reverse wisely up until So, but then I don't know the business still did run. I don't know. I I don't know. I I don't I don't I don't I I don't I don't I um, battle on your father in your business, sure. or or look at a competitor. I I long hurry. Oh, like you the very same product that you are selling, ne? Eh, yeah, until we eat it, when we eat make sure how the product is a how key quality. That is the only thing. Hana next day long hurry. 
because okay for five one sometimes it's about how you market your product nanka tsa maya ka bona re ke sa dikuku be ke o feta and then the next person aba nke misa ke be ke ema it's about you go na o market a jwang your business ba bo eh ya so na ke quality service quality service quality happy i give her ke se cheap material so ke dira bo show hore ke satisfy a customer fantastic all right one more time ladies and gentlemen go pare chapelle to sell it all from excessive pools, a round of applause. Come on, welcome, come on, welcome, come on, welcome, come on, welcome. <laughs>